Hey guys, Danny Johnson here and just giving you a review on Tannen Auto Electronics. Now this is a company that I used to fix the gauge cluster for my G35. So I have a video on how to remove that if you're having the same problem. But uh, basically you remove your gauge cluster entirely and then you ship it into them and then they repair it. So in all it was $220.78 with shipping. You prepay shipping on your way back and then you still have to ship it out to them at your expense. So uh, I was very happy with how it showed up. Um, it was very well packaged and very professional. The only thing you could really tell is they put a little sticker on there showing that they had repaired it. And they had it for 12 days as far as repair time. So it took about a week to get there, uh, then 12 days for them to repair it, and then of course a week to ship it back to me. I sent the gauge cluster out to them to have it repaired. It was having uh, a lot of problems. The first one, most common, which you've probably heard of, is the gas gauge not working. And so um, it came back and it appears like it's working pretty good now. I had I filled the car up not too long ago before I took it out and so it was always reading full. Now it looks like uh, it appears to be working. Um, other small problems it was having was the turn signal when I would turn it on. The turn signal on the car would work but the light wouldn't come on every once in a while unless you would push up here on the dash. So that works now and uh, of course I checked every one of them to make sure it uh, you know, everything's working as it's come back and everything looks really good. Uh, I was also getting a check engine light because of the gas gauge not working. And I had changed both sending units in the fuel tank, um, hoping that that was the problem. And it wasn't, it was the gauge cluster itself. Um, the tire pressure sensor light is on just because the sensors are bad in the, in the uh, wheels. So uh, that's not a problem there. But uh, also the, the needle for like the speedometer it would still work but it would go really dim and now it's just a constant nice red uh, also the battery light was coming on and when you would push on the visor it would go off so it was just kind of a short the alternator was good uh, so uh, anyway everything looks really good i'm very happy with their service they were very professional they gave me uh, updates when the product you know when the gauge cluster arrived to them they were you know told me it would be 10 days turnaround time whatnot but they were really good as soon as i put in the order it said okay we're expecting it please ship it to us when it got to them they said okay we have it and we have our 10 days turnaround time or whatnot and so uh, they were good every step along the way i sent this out right at the end of december and i'm getting it back now you know almost a month uh, since then it was delayed in shipping for about a week uh, but from the time that they got it, uh, it wasn't that long. So a few things to note, uh, you'll basically have a paper that you're going to fill out with your information about the car, and you're going to talk about everything that needs to be fixed. So you want to be very uh, clear about that when you're writing it all out so they know what to solder, what to look for, what to check. Um, now, some with their policy, which I was a little nervous about at first, but it worked out okay, they will tell you that uh, if it shows up and it can't be fixed, they're going to charge you a diagnostic fee for that. And then um, they're going to assume that you don't want it back because it's broken. So I was a little skeptical about all that. And um, then they offer that, you, you know, they can sell you one that does work. But uh, they were very honest and everything worked out. But just uh, be aware that those are the terms that it might not uh, be repairable. And if so, uh, it's going to be extra cost probably to ship it back to you. And you have to make sure that they know you want it back. So I'd look over it really well. Uh, another option, you might be able to go pull another gauge cluster out of a junkyard for less money than the repair. But again, it might not work. And uh, with Mustangs, the key has to match the gauge cluster. I don't know if the gauge cluster is interchangeable on the G35s where you could just put one in without any problems. And so anyway, just wanted to throw that out there too. So anyway, thanks for watching. I just wanted to give you an update on this. I've had some people ask about it when they heard that I was going to send it out and see how it was. And I wanted to get it back and make sure that it was good first before, uh, you know, recommending. But I totally recommend them. I think they did a great job. So thanks for watching. Please check the video description. I'll put links to where you can find the Tanix Auto and also a playlist for all of the videos that I've done on the G35, suspension, clock spring, uh, radiator, tons of stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more content. Thanks, guys.